I guess just really quickly, everything that Akila said, and also, y'all, I tested it out. I just test because the thing is, we're afraid of what's going to happen. Yeah. So instead of me sitting in my fears around the possibilities, I just allowed it for like one or two weeks. And you know what? Everything was okay. <laughs> the, the two weeks didn't change anything. They are still who they are. They still love learning in all of its forms and they still show up when they need to. So try it because what's the bigger question is, what is it getting to you in here? Yeah. Is it is it hurting you here or is it hurting you here? And I think that's just something that all of us and I include myself in this work all the time that we can explore. Yeah. Absolutely. It's such a good practice to do it, Kenya, because it's going to give you so much opportunity to be really present with your own concerns and to try to discover ways to communicate with them, not only about how you feel, but also to work your own feelings again, to engage them with what they're doing and to move past it. Because my girls, we, I mean, they did it for I don't even know how long, maybe they still do it. I don't know, because it's just not a thing anymore. But when they were littles, right? When they were nine and seven, and we were both, we were getting started, we let them. <laughs> and again, mm -hmm. it, I can't even say whether they did or didn't. I just know that who they are, I am completely happy with. And who I am becoming as a result of this practice, I'm also happy with, not all the time, not in all the ways, but in ways that are really useful. And so you're welcome. We know it's not easy. Um, mm -hmm. It's not designed to be easy. It's designed to, to grow you and expand your relationship with your children. And it'll totally do that. <laughs>